If people think you're lonely, they gonna put they, they gonna turn their back on you. People don't like being around lonely people. They like being around people that they uh, you know, that's already getting attention. You know, they like being around people that's already got company, already got a relationship, already got. People like to jump on a bandwagon. They don't like to. They don't like to help. You know. People like to be around people that already got it. That's how they do it. They don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't want to save nobody in most cases. You know, at least they don't want you, if you cannot have, as long as they feel like you don't have, as long as somebody feel like you don't want something from them, they fine. But if they feel like you want something from them or you being nice because you, you being nice because you want something from them, that's where the problem lies. The problem lies in, in if they think you want something from them. That's where the problem lies, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm just here to let you know now that uh, don't give off that vibe that you want something. Because if you do, it's gonna be crazy, man. Uh, you gonna get the short end of the stick every time. You're going to get the short end of the stick every time. So I'm just here to let you know that people are groupies. They get with, They jump on the bandwagon. They're not leaders. They don't look at people, you know, with an individual eye. They look at people from a groupie popularity status standpoint. If they think you in a position of need or lack, then they're gonna treat you that way. They're not gonna treat you different than what they think other people treat you. If they think somebody or other or other people treating you good, they're gonna treat you good also. They, most people got the herd mentality. However they think everybody else treating you, that's the way that they're gonna treat you. However they think everybody else treating you, that's the way they're gonna treat you, man. It's a sad scenario, but that's just how it go, man. So, man, walk arrogant. You know, it's better to be arrogant to be, be, and have your tail tucked up your ass and uh, people looking down on you. But people can smell weakness, they can smell low self-esteem, they can smell fear. People can smell all that stuff. People can smell all that stuff. So, you know, they can smell, they can smell all that stuff, man. So, you gotta understand that, uh, you gotta understand when you're dealing with that type, when you're dealing with that type of, um, that type of herd mentality, which is most people. You know, most people may not agree that they like that, but most people are. They got the herd mentality where if they see everybody kicking somebody, they're going to kick them too. I'm not like that. I'm one of the individuals that honestly can say I've never been like that. I've always been the friend of the outcast. And to this day, some of those people that was outcasts in school, they popular now. And they respect me now because I respected them when they were nobody. And when they were nerds or they was... Bamas or they was out, you know, outcasts and they didn't have no name. I was nice to them. I wasn't always the nicest person in the world. I done some stuff in elementary that was terrible and got my ass whooped for it. But um, as I got older and got closer to God and it's, you know, and I started realizing that what I give out comes back to me, I straight my ass up. I'm Alan Williamere. Follow me on Instagram, all my Instagram pages. Uh, feel free to press like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. But hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this topic, all right? I'll holler at y'all later.